When it comes to limiting sugar, my wife China and I have had some ups and downs, trials and errors, successes and suck -ses. But now, we're doing great! Pretty good. Pretty good! So, I've taken what we've learned and I've compiled a list of ways that you can realistically limit your sugar intake without coming down with a case of the want to dies. Stick around to learn! isn't enjoying his dinner much. Maybe it's because of that candy bar he had just before dinner. Ralph's good time with Frank and Judy is spoiled. In this video, I'm gonna help you not spoil your good time with Frank and Judy. Unless we're talking about Aunt Judy. It's impossible to have a good time with Aunt Judy. Here in the US of A, we eat a lot of sugar and we love it. Maybe, we don't even know if it's in a lot of things because it's hidden in practically every packaged thing. And that's a problem because it adds a bunch of calories without making you feel full and could make you feel crappy and make you want to eat more than you want to eat. I talk to my wife for verification. Hey sugar, wanna talk about, oh, I hate myself. I hate you a little too. You're supposed to say, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to avoid sugar? I was getting to a place where I felt really unhealthy. There are some days I'm gonna have some candy and I'll have like 12 pieces of these like chewy candies that I really like. Then I feel worse. Tired and just kind of like nauseated, get a little bit of a headache the yeah. whole rest of the day after that. And too much sugar can affect your long-term health and make you die sooner, so that's fun. Well, no one can really know their ultimate fate though. You don't know that I'm not a fortune teller. Well, you've never told me you're a fortune teller. I'm not allowed to talk about it. It's okay. part of the code. Okay, maybe China can know your ultimate fate. Well, regardless, I'm gonna play it safe. Problem is, you do need sugar to live, and quitting cold turkey might not be the best way to go about it for a lot of people, even though it can lead to really successful YouTube videos. Cold turkey doesn't even have a lot of sugar, depending on how you feed it and what you put in the gravy. But also, sugar is how you say nummy, num, num, num. And enjoying life is important too. There's a thing you like to say to me. If I say something like, oh, I'm gonna have a lot of sugar. Yeah, being happy is good for you. I don't think that food should be like a bandage for your problems, but like there's a lot of joy in eating. Yeah, eating is something that I think most people do. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. So I've compiled a bunch of stuff you can do to avoid sugar without curling up in a flavorless, sweaty ball of melancholic slime, my nickname in high school. Because we want to feel good, have energy, and at least I want to join humanity's first expedition to Jupiter that we will have learned about from the monolith that we found on the moon, and along the way accidentally become the all-seeing, all-knowing space baby at the center of the universe. Or whatever, who knows what's gonna happen. You don't know that I'm not a fortune teller. Right, right, so first thing to do, learn the numbers. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any combination of those. That's all the numbers. You did it. No. What's too much sugar? It's tricky because different organizations have different recommendations, but it helps to ballpark it. Because if you don't have an idea of the ballpark, you're going to be in the ball dark. Oh, let's go with the American Heart Association, because I'm American, have a heart, and I'm associated with stuff. They recommend 24 grams for most adult women and 36 grams for most adult men of added sugar per day. Now you get to eat more sugar than you, so that's awesome. The patriarchy at it again. <laughs> added sugar means stuff like sugar, high fructose corn syrup, honey, maple syrup, molasses, gasoline. Not gasoline, but you shouldn't have that either. So why is sugar in other stuff not a problem? I found an article. You don't need to worry so much about the sugars that are a natural part of fruit, vegetables, and dairy products. Most people don't overeat naturally occurring sugars, as Marion Nestle, no, it's not Nestle, she doesn't work for Nestle, I looked it up, of New York University says, the fiber, vitamins, and minerals that surround them fill you up. This is something I read over and over again. Sugar in fruit comes with fiber and other nutrients that fill you up, slow the absorption process of sugar. And I have found in reality that to be the case. When I eat an apple, I get full longer. When I eat uh, chocolate, I energy crash and get hungry later. This is a point of contention among commenters every time we bring up something about eating fruit. I'm not gonna do your keto diet, okay? I'm glad it works for you though. Anytime we talk about this, people are like, well, yeah, but fruit is just all sugar. It's just so much sugar, it's a ton of sugar. And like, mm, okay, let's put this to rest for once and for all. It won't, we won't. Fruit is good for you. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. Being happy is good for you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so getting that number in your head, 24 or 36 grams a day can help you stay on track. But how do you stay on track? Well, next on the list, 
actually look at labels. Now that you have a number in your head, you actually have a frame of reference so that the label means something. They usually have an added sugar section. Yes, companies can do tricky things like relabel sugar as other stuff, say that it's natural, but technically it's not gonna necessarily be good for you even if it is natural, like juice that has only natural sugar from the fruit, but it's removed from all the benefits of the fruit. So labels are useful, they're not 100%, but perfect is the enemy of the good. You can still use it to catch red flags, like a can of Coke, 12 ounces, more than the daily recommended amount of sugar, added sugar, or the amount in certain yogurts that are supposed to be healthy. Do you like look at labels? Yeah, the biggest issue for me is not small amounts of added sugar in random foods. It's like specifically sweets, candy, mm -hmm. cake, ice cream, whatever. Unless we're doing a challenge where we're trying to get rid of all added sugar. I don't really sweat two grams of sugar. Or even uh, like five, six, seven grams sometimes. So we don't really sweat the small stuff. Again, we're not doing a keto diet here, even though I'm sure it works for a lot of you and that's great. Speaking of consuming things that don't have a lot of sugar but have a lot of protein, time to thank the sponsor of this video, Butcher Box. I like meat, good source of protein, a lot of nutrients, fills me up but not in a sugary way. But it's complicated to make sure I'm getting good meat from the best sources, but not from Butcher Box. It's like having your own butcher who prepares meat that you can feel good about delivered right to your doorstep. Except you can't deliver a person. But Butcher Box delivers the next best thing. One of their four curated boxes or custom boxes that you can just do whatever you want. Frozen at peak freshness, my nickname in college, packed in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box and it's free shipping. Sourced from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards of quality. 100% grass-fed and pasture-raised beef, free-range USDA certified organic chicken, my nickname after college, pork raised crate free, wild caught seafood, salmon, cod, scallops, haddock, paddock, saddock, laddock, and draddock. Bacon is also sourced from humanely raised pork and is uncured, nitrate free, and sugar free. Oh wow, how appropriate for this video. When does it get delivered? Well, you can choose the frequency that fits your needs. When can I cancel it? You can stop at any time with a huge penalty. Wait. No penalty. At their core, they really believe in animal welfare, supporting farmers, treating our planet with respect, and in unicorns. I don't know if they believe in unicorns, but it'd be cool if they did. Also, it's really delicious. This is like the best steak you ever made. If you click the link below and sign up, you receive one pack of bacon for free in every order for the life of your membership and save $20 off each box for five months. That's one time. $100, free bacon for life? That's been humanity's dream since cavemen days when we would pound animal bones onto other animal bones, to reference 2001 again. Thank you, Butcher Box. Great deal, great meat, great transition. Back into the video. Next on the list is a classic rule of thumb. People say that my thumb bends weird, and yes, it does. Stay on the perimeter of the grocery store, because if you stay on the perimeter, you're usually gonna find the whole fruits and all whole foods and more unpackaged and unprocessed stuff so that you have less temptation at home. How do you go about reducing sugar? Not have it around. Just don't buy it and have it here. Just don't buy it and have it here. Simple, obvious, but effective. Subvective. It's hard, I know. If you're craving something sweet and you don't get it, that could lead to a crash. Well, maybe the answer isn't no snacks, but find less sugary snacks. Again, fruit! Sometimes when I'm feeling snacky, oh, I want a candy bar, ice cream. I'll go for some bloobs or some nanes, one nane, and I'll wait like 10 minutes craving goes away. But if I must, I go for a little chocolate, but I have dark chocolate instead of the regular because it has less sugar usually. It ain't perfect, but it's fine. Be kind to yourself. But my absolute favorite snack these days, I have it at least once a day, is an apple. All right, listen, I cut my apples weird, but it's the way I like it. And I don't waste the core and peanut butter. Natural peanut butter, no sugar added. Maybe I have it a little too much, but my snacking habits are way better than they used to be. When we first started, Dating, you like never had fruit at your house except bananas. And I wouldn't even eat those very often. Yeah. Saying about them though. They're bananas, bananas, they're sitting on my fridge. Bananas, bananas, they look just like a bridge. When you started running though, you were all of a sudden like, fruit. Fruit, fruit. sounds so good. And the weirdest thing, whenever I get hungry from running, it's I crave apples. I never eat apples. I'm gonna eat an apple, maybe a banana, and then lay down and Maybe, maybe die. So yeah, exercise changed my taste buds, which is weird. But you know what else changed my taste buds? Reducing sugar. Fresh food tastes better. Sweet cravings kind of went away. Milk tasted like a milkshake. Not the kind of milkshake that brought all the boys to the yard, but some of the boys. I know I poo-pooed quitting cold turkey earlier, but 
next on the list. Quit cold turkey for a time. Don't have to do this. This isn't gonna work for everybody. This could actually make things worse. But it worked for us. Once we went back on sugar, I've had less ever since. And the whole process helped me learn about where to find the added sugar and how to avoid it. Also, miraculously, things got sweeter. Mm -hmm. I love sweet potatoes now. Didn't used to. I like carrots more. They're sweeter to me now. And because things taste sweeter, I now have healthier snacks. I'll just add fruits to oatmeal, plain yogurt, plain cereal, and it's a delicious treat. Quitting added sugar leads to it being easier to quit added sugar. Huh. Another big one, beware of sugary drinks. Again, in that article, eliminate soda from your regular diet. Just get rid of it if you must drink diet soda. Ideally, though, you should get rid of diet soda, too. That may sound extreme, but sweetened beverages are by far the biggest source of added sugar in the American diet. 47%. Nowadays, I almost never drink regular soda. China, a little bit more than me. I do enjoy the taste of a Coca-Cola, but I'm not having it as a beverage. I'm having it as a treat. If I'm thirsty, I'm gonna have water. So we try to make it a special thing whenever we have a sodi pop. Most of the time, I just go with sparkling flavored water if I'm gonna get into the fizzness business. I drink my coffee black. Occasionally, I have a plain latte, which I find delicious. If you have to have a sugary coffee, consider it a treat. Be aware that that's part of the sugar count for the day. Or make your own coffee or order it black and put your own sugar in it. Take back your sugar power. Because if you're ordering coffee in America, they're probably gonna add the amount that they think the average American wants. And remember that chart? Yeah. Honestly, I recommend making your own whole bean coffee pour over because you can get really, really delicious coffee and a lot of the main coffee chains do not have the good standard coffee. In general, I avoid juice as well, unless it's in a cocktail, which China and I are quitting alcohol for a year now, so I'm not really having that either. But we do occasionally have mocktails. And again, it's a special treat. Cheers. Cheers. And the verdict is... I don't get Paloma out of this. Um, okay. It's good though. Yes, it's good though! It's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm not thinking about it as sustenance in any way. I'm just being aware of it and then not overdoing it. Anytime it occurs to me to order a soda, I'm like, mm, I would rather eat those calories than drink them. You yeah. Know? If you want to quench that thirst, if you want to, you want to quench that thirst, here's what you do. Grab a water bottle. I forgot to bring my water bottle down while I was shooting this. Wow. Lead by example, Craig. Minutes later, water bottle. Mmm. Mmm. Plain. But hydrating. Mm. You know, it always really surprises me when I'm like with someone and they're not carrying a water bottle with them. What are you gonna do if you get thirsty? <laughs> I carry a water bottle everywhere I go to a different room. And now we're talking about it and, I'm, and I didn't I'm getting bring thirsty it in. I'm really thirsty. It. I didn't mm -hmm. bring it in here. Just sipping water all day helps quell the cravings of liquid sugar, solid sugar, and gaseous sugar, which I don't think that's a thing yet. I don't think it should be either. You can take it on trips. When we stop at a gas station, they usually have a fountain where you can just fill it up. You don't have to buy a bottle of water. It's great! Beating the system! Next on the list is a possible way you could get yourself to pay attention to how much sugar is in stuff. Count calories. I know this is not something that works for everybody. Counting calories mm -hmm. leads to me having less sugar. If you've got something like a piece of candy, it's gonna have way more calories versus the physical amount. Mm -hmm. And so I would much rather have something bigger and more filling mm -hmm. and less calorically dense. Why would I have tiny pieces of candy when I could have yogurt and fresh fruit and chia seeds mm -hmm. that would like fill me up and be just as delicious, if not more delicious. Here's a smoothie I do almost every day. Plain yogurt, blueberries, milk, protein powder, chia seeds, flax seeds. Mmm, friggin' delicious. Fills me up. And I've convinced myself that it's healthy. Another thing, beware of dessert for breakfast. Johnny Harris, YouTuber, journalist, made a great video. How did this become breakfast? in my country. And you should watch that because it's really good and then you should watch all of his videos and then you should try to work on not eating dessert for breakfast. Here's what I eat almost every single day for breakfast. Eggs, black beans with a little cotija cheese and salsa. There's a little bit of sugar in the salsa. Again, perfect is the enemy of the good, it's fine. But there's a lot of protein and fiber, it fills me up. And third thing, it sounded like I was gonna say, but I don't have a third thing. I'm doing the same breakfast every day. A piece of toast, two over medium eggs on it, salsa. I feel better when I eat that for breakfast than if I had pancake, mm -hmm. cereal, or whatever. There'll be some people who'll be like, you're not supposed to eat eggs that much. Unless you are my doctor, which would be weird 
if you're watching this. If my doctor tells me, then I will eat fewer eggs. But for now, my cholesterol is fine and yeah. I'm enjoying it and mm -hmm. it's great. And mind your own business and my dog ate it. Okay. And I- Your dog ate, ate the and eggs? you're not my real mom. You're feeding, and you're feeding <laughs> Birdie the eggs every day? I think eggs are good for dogs. Really? Well, we should be giving them Birdie more eggs then. Nah. Okay, yeah, that's for, they're for us. Yeah. And finally, be kind to yourself. Cheat sometimes. Not on your significant other, but you know what I mean. Once a week or every other week, we mm -hmm. will go get ice cream with our kid or whatever. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna have ice cream every time because I'm gonna plan for it, not mm -hmm. overindulge all these other times. I have little uh, dark chocolates. That way I can manage the, the amount because they're just little. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have a little too many. Sure. But you feel bad about yourself if you have too much sugar? No, or? I just take it day by day. Mm -hmm. And I remind myself of like one day of overindulging, even mm -hmm. if it's all sugar, mm -hmm. it's just one day. Yeah. It would take many days of that to have a real effect. I just don't care. That's it. Thank you, sugar. Mm, I, hate, okay. I hate myself so much. I kind of hate you too. Still? Again. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps some of you reduce your sugar while still being kind to yourself. Reminder that if you click the link below and sign up for ButcherBox, you get one pack of free bacon in every order for life of the membership and $20 off each box for five months, which equals $100. I can do math. YouTube thinks you like that video. Previous video, me working out for 700 days. You subscribe right there. You can support me on Patreon where I do a monthly live hangout, early releases of videos, and I do a newsletter every Tuesday helping you and me figure out this whole thing we call call life. You can subscribe to that. Clicking right down there.